Hello, this is Danny Stern from Limelight Agency, and welcome to our very first audio and video broadcast. This is very special for us here at the agency, because in the past we've put out many emails announcing the latest works from our artist studios, but of course limited to just a few paragraphs of text we've been able to describe the works themselves and perhaps where they fit in with the artist's career. This is different. Here we're going to be able to actually speak directly to the artists themselves and find out directly from them what is so important about these latest works. Today we have with us artist Stephen Holland. Stephen, of course, is known worldwide as a leading artist of sports and as well for his many works in celebrity. Today his newest release is of Rocky Marciano. This is a fantastic piece, and it's a limited edition of 99 produced on Chicle of the famed writer of the 20th century. Hey, Stephen. This is truly a great piece. I, I personally love it. For yourself, though, what do you find the most exciting about it? They called him, I think, the Brockton... He was from Brockton, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. uh, the Brockton Blockbuster. But he had a style of fighting where he just came at you. In this piece, who's he fighting? Uh, he's fighting, I believe, Ezra Charles in this. From what I understand, I don't know, I think, I think it was he fought Ezra Charles uh, twice, I'm not sure, but I know at least one of the fights was an incredible battle. Uh, there was one fight, I think I remember reading, where he got hit in the nose so hard that he had to knock him out and win the fight before they, they, you know, before they stopped it for his bleeding. He seemed like he was fairly fun-loving. He had a family. Yeah, he was like a family guy. You know, he was blue-collar, and, and he was, you know, I want to call him ferocious, but only in the ring. He was not a ferocious guy. He was a very decent guy. When his manager set him up to fight Joe Lewis, Joe Lewis was old at that time, and Rocky didn't want to fight him because Joe Lewis was his idol, and he knew that he would kill him, He'd tear him apart, which he did, and it really hurt him. In fact, he went in to visit Joe Lewis' dressing room after the fight, and Joe Lewis had it. He was crying. Joe Lewis told him to stop crying. You know, that this was the business. This is what they did, and it was fine. I remember as a kid seeing Rocky, and, and God, he was he was awesome. If you hung out in the streets, you could relate to Rocky as, you know, the tough guy. One thing I wanted to bring up, you know, the painting's a little bit different than a lot of paintings you've been doing lately. It, it's definitely not as pop in its nature. It, it's a lot grittier. Uh, uh -huh. it's, it's got a very different feel to it. You know, so much of what I do is intuitive. Uh -huh. And very often the photograph dictates what comes out. I'll look at a photograph and I'll see the painting. When I did, when I finished this painting, I stepped back and I just said, holy shit. You asked me to do it again. I, <laughs> I couldn't do it again. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like actors, you know, actors do a lot of movies and there's some that they shine in and some that they don't. They try to shine in every one, but sometimes it just happens. Uh, it's just going to sound strange, but I was so grateful to have been allowed to paint this. Why is it? You know, to have painted this painting. Why were you grateful? Because, um, y you know, I have my talent, whatever that is, and I have what I put into it, and I have my thoughts, but sometimes something else happens. And that I have no control over. And I, I don't mean to get spiritual on you or anything like just some magical have happened. And so I believed when I looked at Rocky, when I looked at the finished painting, that that happened. So I was grateful it came through me like that. Something that I always appreciated, never stops to awe me, is when you got a, a fighter in, in the of the caliber of Rocky Marciano. I mean, that is so awesome. <laughs> that is so beyond any working class anything. I think about the, the level of talent. But not only that, I think of almost any professional fighter 
they are so powerful and they're so strong at what they do. And they can hit so hard and they're able to take a punch that a normal person wouldn't even have a chance of standing up to. These guys are, they're like concrete, literally like concrete. This, this is what I want to paint. You know, if you just allowed me to paint anything I chose, never mind who it was or the person, this is the kind of painting I would paint. Showing that kind of fury in a, in, in a fighter, in a, in a football player, that's what I'm after very often. Um, a lot of people who are watching this and listening to this um, are potential collectors of this piece. Yes. And some of the people are art dealers who will be talking to their collectors about this piece. And, you know, I think a question comes up often when those when someone's considering a piece to collect or they're representing a piece, and that is uh, you know, what the artist feels about where this fits into their full body of work. You know, why would the artist himself want this work? Where do you think this fits in for you? I think it's one of the best paintings I've ever done, if that's what you mean. Well, no, actually it was uh, wide open, but that's quite a statement. Okay, yeah, yeah I think it's, it's, it is uh, as good as any painting I've ever done. You know, I looked at it and I said, oh my God, did that actually happen? Why one of the best? Be because really embodied what I wanted to show, what intrigued me was the power and the fury of the way Rocky Marciano fought. And I thought that it really captured that. It really captured the things, uh, plus uh, other things, like I loved the face in it. I loved the way the gloves got handled. It's like I wish every painting I did could look like this, but then I'd get bored and I wouldn't do the others. <laughs> <laughs> You asked me earlier, by the way, about why I enjoy this painting so much. It's like if you're writing a story or a song, or something, and you've always, you know, every song you write, you're trying to do this certain thing, accomplish this certain thing in the song. And then all of a sudden you happen to do a song and it does it. And I felt that Rocky did it, did it all. <laughs>